Hey guys, Bailey here from Funalytics. I wanted to introduce you to the People Profiles widget. Now, before I do that, I want to remind you of a concept that I find helpful, and it's that underneath the Funalytics canvas is all of the data that can be tracked. Then, when you add things onto the canvas, whether it's actions, pages, or traffic sources, you're going to um, surface specific, specific subsets of information and separate it from all of the potential data that you could analyze. Now, the reason I'm sharing this with you is because I feel like the people profiles and the people widget inside Funalytics is a very um, poignant example of that. So if we take a look up here at the widgets tab, you're going to see top countries and people. For this example, we're going to look at people. And here we can see that during today's date range, which is all I have it set to, we have 1,149 people total who have engaged with either a traffic source, a page, or an action on our ecosystem. And as I go through this list, I can start to see, you know, the countries that people are coming from. And basically, I can start my exploration. Now, if I wanted to learn a little bit more, for example, what this person from Ireland did, I can click on this tab and I can start to see some information. So this is the person's unique ID. This will change to their name and email address once we have uh, collected information from them. We can have their desktop or mobile. This person engaged via desktop. It shows us their first touch point and where in the world they're engaging with us from. Now we can see that this person's journey, actually the first thing that they did was go to log into their dashboard and then they started to work around and play and build funnels inside of their workspace. We can take a look at other people as well. So this person's from France. We can see that this person came from Google and went to the homepage. And we'll look at one more example. So this is just sort of uh, un unguided in exploration. So this person from Brazil, same thing, came from Google, went to the homepage. Now, if there was a specific um, lens or filter that I wanted to apply to this total data set in order to understand a specific subset of it, that's where we can start to add things to the canvas and apply filters. So. If, for example, I wanted to know which of these people uh, were, let's say, joining or logged into their Funalytics dashboard today, I could come to my Explore and I'm going to look for the page that would represent that. So for us, uh, that anyone who goes onto dashboard is going to be people who have actually logged in. So. What I can do now when I refresh my analytics is I will see that of the 1,157 people who have played around on or in our world today, 206 of them have actually logged into their account and have been playing around. Now, if I want to specifically identify who these 206 people are, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to my filters tab. And we'll dive into filters in detail in the filters video. But because we're talking about people, I feel like it's that meaningful thing to share for you in this video. So I'm going to come down and I'm going to uh, filter based on people who performed a, in a specific set step. And in the way that we filter a step is just by selecting the step on the canvas. So in this case, I'm going to filter by these 206 people, people who have visited this page. And I can see that I have not applied the changes yet, so I'm going to apply the filters. The data is going to load and it's going to change this 1000 whatever it was people to the 206 specific people who have uh, opted in for their dashboard. So if I then take a look at someone's journey, for example, this person, I'll see exactly what they've done. So they've logged in, they go into their dashboard, they created a new funnel and they were playing around. I could also clear the filters and do the exact same thing based on traffic. So let's say I wanted to know specifically which people are coming from Google Organic. I'm going to map a Google Organic icon to the canvas. So in this instance, I can uh, just filter based on a referring URL. So I'm not going to use parameters. I'm just going to use google.com. I'm going to come back to my filters tab, people who came from Google Organic. I'm going to apply the filter. And now I can see of the 1,000, whatever it was, people, 240 of them came from Google Organic. And if I click 
their journey. I can see this person came from Google and went to the Funnelytics homepage. The last example, if I want to maybe filter, I need to clear my filters here. Maybe I want to filter based on somebody who has watched a video. So here I'm going to do video view. And if I wanted to do a specific type of video, I could. Um, we have three, we have 62 different uh, videos on different page paths. So let's say I want to do something on the why. Why Funnelytics? If I want to see of all of the 1,159 people who has seen this video, maybe I want to know who has seen this video to at least, well, to the end. So let's see of all of the 1,159 people who watched our Why Funnelytics video all the way to the end. Then I would select my step. Hang on, I think I, yep, we're good, okay. So now I've selected a step, this video view, this video has these specific properties attached to it. And now if I apply my filter, I'm gonna change this 1,159 people to these three people. If I click on this lovely Canadian, let's see. So they came from Google, they went to funnelytics.io, they went to the pricing page, then they clicked around and looked at pricing. Uh, I already use channel attribution tools. Why do I need Funnelytics? That was a frequently asked question. They clicked on this question. <laughs> uh, how is this better? How, uh, what about GA4? How does Funnelytics compare? And we can just start to see all of the questions that they engaged with. They landed on the why page, they watched this video, and then this will trigger all of the um, events that we fired across. So because they watched it to the end and we have triggers going at, I think, 10, 25, 50, 75, 90% and finished, that will take us all the way to the finished video view, watch to the end. So now we can see that this lovely person from Brampton engaged with us today. This is the steps that they took so far and they engaged with us from their desktop. And that, my friends, is the power of Funnelytics people profiles. The last thing that we could do is, let's say I wanted to, uh, let's clear this filter. Um, if I wanted to take a look at people, for example, who've come from Facebook. So I can apply a filter to Facebook. And if I want to know specifically the step that these people are taking, then I can start to use my Funnelytics Step Explorer, and it's going to show me only the path that these four people are taking. So I could look at it this way, and I could start to map out and understand their people profiles. Here we go. Um, and map it out visually this way, or I could use my Funnelytics Step Explorer and map it out this way. Hope that helps. We'll see you in the next video.